Cedar sinai Medical Center does have the ultra-cold freezers. What's important about that is the ability to maintain the temperature of the vaccines is going to be essential uh, uh, based on the way that the manufacturers are producing them. And uh, for the first vaccine we expect, which will be the Pfizer vaccine, that one does require being able to maintain that cold storage at minus 80. Because of the nature of the organization we are, we have some of those freezers here. And so that's that that enables us to support that, that vaccine and the subsequent ones as well that may not require that ultra cold freezing capability. The vaccines are being distributed through the states. And then we are working with LA County who would then determine you know, what level of vaccinations we would get, how many. Once that happens, we would then be responsible for receiving and storing those vaccines. The Pfizer vaccine is the one we know the most about how it's gonna come. They're gonna come in pizza-like boxes, a, a container that's gonna have uh, 975 doses. Uh, the way that they, they determine that, there's actually five doses per vial. And so we've done, we've done different calculations of our freezers in terms of how many they can store. We're being conservative about it. We're saying maybe 150,000 doses per freezer. They have special containers that they have created that will enable them to be uh, transported to hospitals. They'll come in a container with dry ice. Now the way they've packaged them for shipping actually enables some places to use them within the container itself. So they have provisions for how often you might have to replace the dry ice. It's very specific just to maintain the temperature. They also have a device that's going to come with within the container that to, to verify that the temperature that it needs to be maintained at is being maintained. So that, that's important too because you want to make sure from the time that it leaves where the, the manufacturing facility and we receive it that it's that it's been able to sustain that temperature we need to have it at. I think anyone who's going to get the vaccine needs to know they need a second dose. And they should definitely write down which vaccine they got. So if they're, you know, seeing their healthcare provider, they'll have that information. I think that's important. And um, I think we're all hopeful. <laughs> this is a, you know, it's, we're, I think we're all hopeful and glad to hear that we're, we're at this stage now.